Okay, so the last thing we're going to talk about is some safety issues for adolescents, um, some adolescent specific safety issues. Uh, the most common ca causes of death, most common cause of death, again, it's going to be MBA, but also think about bikes, ATV, skateboards, firearms, sports injuries. Um, MBAs, the risk goes way up for adolescents because they're inexperienced drivers, more likely to be driving while distracted. A distraction, speed, and substances actually increase that risk. But on top of those, and those are all very adolescent, very common adolescent choices um, because they feel invul invulnerable or invincible. They think big bad things happen to other people. They just want to live their lives and have fun. And so they're more likely to make those choices, but also they have less driving experience. And so the consequences of those choices can be even worse. But even without those, even without speeding, um, drinking and driving and driving distracted, adolescents are more likely to have accidents because of inexperience. Um, sometimes they don't want to wear seatbelts. That increases the severity of injury in uh, accidents as well. So what can we encourage parents to do and what can we advocate for uh, on a societal level to decrease the, the number of deaths in MVAs? Um, we really want to encourage no questions asked rides, number one. If kids get into a situation where they've been drinking, their ride has been drinking, do they have someone they can call and get a safe ride home without getting in trouble? Um, because that's really going to decrease that risk. Um, we also need to advocate for supervised practice before they drive alone. Um, they need to have more experience before they drive with passengers. So just increasing that experience level. Um, so we wanna really advocate for kids to get some experience and take it slow. Um, it's hard to counteract that idea that everything happens to other people, but if we can help them understand that, um, that's really helpful. Uh, bikes, ATV, skateboards, they need helmets. Firearm injuries, um, firearm injuries can be intentional or unintentional, um, and that the unintentional can be self-inflicted or inflicted on others. Um, adolescents are impulsive, and if they have a gun available, that increases the risk of successful suicide. Sometimes um, suicide attempts in adolescents are, Im are impulsive. And if we can get through that initial impulse, then um, that um, risk is decreased. So the presence of a gun actually increases that risk. The same thing goes for homicide. If kids are um, in conflict, if there's a gun available, the risk of homicide increases. Adolescents also need um, if they're gonna use a gun, they need education in gun safety and they need really strict guidelines um, for when they're going to be used. We live in a hunting culture. A lot of kids in where we live grow up with guns. They own their own guns by the time they get to middle school. They hunt, they may be hunting independently or with friends by the time they're in high school. They need lots of education and they really need evaluation. Not every child is mature enough to safely carry a gun and go hunting. And that's something that families really need to be evaluating. Guns in the home should be locked up separately from ammunition. Um, sports injuries. Adolescents get closer to adult size and so the injuries become more severe. If there's a really wide size variation, that increases the risk. So think about a 12th grader and a ninth grader and how big a difference there can be in size. So that increases the risk. So we have risk of more serious one-time injuries. Um, and there's also a greater risk of overuse injuries because as they get more serious about the sport, they may be spending more time doing that same sport and um, overuse those muscles and joints. Uh, we need to teach uh, kids to use proper safety equipment every single time. They need to be adequately trained how to play safely. Uh, one of the more dangerous sports is football. And one of the things that reduces 
uh, football injuries is being taught how to tackle correctly. Incorrect tackling is a cause of, um, of C-spine injuries. Okay, so they need proper safety equipment, they need adequate training, and they need coaches who are adequately trained for safety. Um, we also need to talk with kids about traumatic brain injury and cumulative brain injury. Um, we need to really be protecting kids' heads, helping them avoid impacts to their heads. Um, another safety thing to consider is tanning, and tanning kind of go, comes and goes in popularity. Currently, I know that my daughter's friends are more likely to use spray tans, which are much safer, but in a tanning booth and using tanning booths um, or beds with UV lights causes premature aging skin care and some patients have phototoxic reactions. So we wanna really discourage that. Um, two things we're not talking about in this lecture because they come up in the mental health lecture are substance abuse and eating disorders but both of those frequently begin in adolescence, if not sooner. Okay, that's the last adolescent lecture. The final thing we'll talk about is young adult development, and that's gonna be really short.